What's up, guys? Parker Talks is back. The college football season has already begun, but week one of the official season is starting this Saturday. Now, we've already gotten to a rough start for college football, unfortunately. There's been some games that have been postponed, like the SMU-TCU game, Louisiana Tech at Baylor, and also the Tulsa-Oklahoma State game, yet that game was uh, postponed to the next Saturday. But there is good news as the other teams in the ACC and the Big 12 will start playing this Saturday as the college football season starts and the SEC plays two weeks later. And it will be ranging from different fans, from no fans at all, to the most fans this weekend being 24,000, which is at 25% capacity at the University of Texas. So what we can tell with these capacity limits is, is that it's not going to be based off of the Power 5 conferences. It's going to be based off of the teams themselves. So it's going to be very wacky. That's why I'm not really going to cover every team and what limitations they have or not because every team is different. And yeah, in this video, I just wanted to go through the top five games for this weekend. Even though this is more of a cupcake weekend, a lot of teams are playing, you know, some smaller teams. I have some five, five games that are the bigger games of this weekend. So the first game we have is Syracuse at number 18, North Carolina, that will not be hosting fans in this game. North Carolina has probably the second best quarterback in the ACC with Sam Howell, and they also have an incredible linebacker named Chaz Surratt. Uh, I think North Carolina is going to be a really good team this year. Syracuse is always a sneaky team that can always upset somebody like they did with Clemson a few years back, but I think North Carolina is going to start off this year strong with a win over Syracuse. The next game is Duke going to number 10, Notre Dame. And this game will have 15,500 fans, that's 20% capacity. And Ian Book, a senior quarterback for Notre Dame, is hopefully leading the Notre Dame uh, Fighting Irish to an ACC championship. And I think they can get to that point. They also have a great defense as well. And they're definitely one of the teams that can compete against Clemson, or at least try to compete against Clemson to uh, get that title. So I think they're going to cruise smoothly over Duke this weekend. The next game we have is Georgia Tech at Florida State, and I see these two teams just going in the opposite direction of each other. Georgia Tech just hasn't been the same since uh, Paul Johnson, the coach for a long time who started the triple option for Georgia Tech. Since he has left, Georgia Tech has not been the same. They're probably going to be the worst team in the ACC this year. And also Florida State, uh, Mike Norvell is in his second year coaching for the Seminoles. Uh, this game will have 19,900 fans around and in 25% capacity. Um, and since I said both teams are going in opposite directions, Florida State, they also have one of the better defenses, probably the best defense in the ACC. They have the best defensive players. Marvin Wilson is uh, leads their defense for the Florida State Seminoles. Uh, I think Florida State's going to easily win this game, and we'll see if they can compete against the top dogs of the ACC like Clemson and, and Notre Dame as well. The next game is Western Kentucky at Louisville and I think this is going to be the best game actually of this weekend. I think it's going to be the closest game. They have 18,000 fans attending this game at 30% capacity. Uh, Louisville uh, with the quarterback Michael Cunningham can throw the ball to 2-2 at well, probably the best receiver in the ACC. Um, Western Kentucky played at Louisville last year and was also a close game. Western Kentucky has a better defense than Louisville. Western Kentucky is also a very sneaky team. and They can always upset um, any teams, especially like Louisville, even though I think Louisville can have a good year this year. I think it's going to be close. I think Louisville is going to prevail in the end in the fourth quarter, but this is probably the game to watch for week one. And the final game is the number one Clemson Tigers going to Wake Forest. Wake Forest will not be having any fans in attendance, but this is a primetime game. And when you hear primetime and the Clemson Tigers in the same sentence, you know it's going to be a blowout, especially against Wake Forest. This game isn't going to be close at all. We know the players, Trevor Lawrence, Tra Travis Etienne, the two best players in the ACC, the best team uh, in college football, in prime time, it's not going to be close. The Clemson Tigers are going to win in a blowout, and that is the five. Those are the five best games for this week one. I know it's a cupcake week. I didn't even mention any Big Twelve teams because they are all playing much smaller teams for their non-conference games. 
So that's it for the video today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just my top five games for this weekend. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.